Okay, a couple more times we're going to talk about the attributes of God, the qualities that make God God, and I want to talk about God's infinitudeness or his limitlessness. God is infinite. In Romans 11, 33 through 36, it says this, Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and the knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and unfathomable his ways. Who has known the mind of the Lord or who became his counselor? Who has first given to him that it might be paid back to them again? For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Mind blower. From him, through him, to him are all things. In Colossians 2, 3, it speaks of in Christ are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. In Job 37, verses 14 and 16, it says this, Consider God perfect in understanding, perfect in knowledge. And then Jeremiah uh, 10, 12, let me read this for you. In Jeremiah 10, 12, it says, He, God, made the earth by his power. He established the world by his wisdom. By his understanding, he stretched out the heavens. It's God God's infinitudeness, his limitlessness that created, that spoke, that sustains, and we can try and try and try to understand him. And it's a good thing to want to grow in our understanding and wisdom of God. But even as Paul said in Romans, who can comprehend the depths of the riches, both of the wisdom and the knowledge of God? Mm -hmm.